I'm blue, da boo dee, da boo <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, I, I don't really feel like singing this for a long time. I just, I had to sing, I could like handle the cringiness of that attempt at humor for a short time, but I wasn't gonna, like, like just imagine if I would have kept singing that song like for a long time. I don't know, I just would have felt kind of weird about that, but like singing it for like, like about 0.8 or one whole second, that was pretty appropriate. And uh, I'm actually I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt, so this probably looks really blue. And also I got my chain on. I decided to make this a part of my uh, stormative um, presentation because, like, I was like, I got the heart-shaped sunglasses, and I love them, and I'm gonna get some more before too long. Um, but I was like thinking today, I was like, I gotta spice it up a little more. Like I just watched the new. Uh, the right opinion video about the try guys and i was like we got the try guys we got team 10 we got all these speed runners on twitch all these fighting game community personalities on twitch all these rappers who completely suck and they got the spotlight and they got the record deals and they got a lot of people listening to them and i'm really excellent at both or at least rapping definitely i've been more confident with that than them being a content creator but I feel really excellent in both. And um, my success will be determined by how many people's screens I pop up on, at least for now. It's definitely a weird time, but I just, I, I can do what I want to do. Like, that's what I always tell myself. It's like, maybe there's a lot of people or algorithms or shit that put you in the sock drawer underneath all the socks underneath the false bottom of the drawer which you have to like tap like a three sentence long password in morse code to open up like i'm like i'm way hidden in the cryptic uh algorithm network and um some people that still found my channel anyway so that so that's a thing and um i, I try my best I don't always succeed, but I try my best to not focus on the numbers and just tell myself, like I was just saying, I can do what I want to do. And that is such a privilege that a lot of people don't have, whether it's gamers in the past who like there literally wasn't the technology for streaming or the internet or any of that stuff, or even people now who like uh, play video games and like, have other priorities or other things they have to put their money or time into or like like what was going to be for me a while it, like a lot of people are like teachers or some professional job maybe you can't like express yourself online at all because like you're, you'll get facial recognition software and your boss will be like hey if somebody sees you our company's going to be in a lot of trouble um, and all that, all that kind of stuff like th those are not obstacles that I face I, I'm gonna feel grateful to do what I do even if it's mostly me talking myself and like it's natural to feel a little bit jealous because like I have spent hundreds of hours probably thousands of hours maybe between one and two thousand hours um, watching people on Twitch and more often than not the chat is relatively active like the slowest I ever see a chat is like one or two chats per minute or something like that. Um, usually it's a lot faster than that, but like that's just the natural nature of things. And um, people can just tell themselves it's the natural nature of things. And while that may be allowing people who take advantage of the algorithms to get what they want to happen, if that is happening, supposing that is happening, like supposing the algorithms are messed with so they can get the type of people they want out there. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Let, let's see, where is that sentence going to go? Supposing that people of YouTube and Twitch and all that kind of stuff control the algorithms to have the people that they want out there. Numerically, those streaming, this is what I was going to say, numerically those streaming platforms would still probably look the same whether or not there's interference. 
like there would just be like a natural graph where like there's a like if it was a bar graph and like the ones over here are really high and like these guys have like millions of viewers like hundred thousand ten thousand and then like there's a really long flat line on this side where like these guys get zero to one or two viewers every stream oops and like whether or not um it's happening naturally or the people at the top are being chosen numerically it would still look the same which is why you're gonna have to look deeper than just the numbers to find the truth maybe that's how i'll become famous to find the truth about the numbers and that would be like the most ironic meta way to gain a following and become viral so maybe i should do that because i'm a pretty ironic and meta cognition meta humor meta everything kind of guy but yeah, I've, I've been talking for six minutes exactly, and I've been keeping you guys in suspense, I'm sorry. This is our feature presentation. And I hope it doesn't look as grainy and fuzzy for you guys as it does, like, okay, if I maximize OBS, it looks better, it's just because it's minimized. Um, or like, not minimized, but like it's, it, it's in this small window. Um, so yeah, 3.882 gigabytes out of 5.235 and this video is going to be the first video in a series which I will probably call something like um, loading it has to be something with load or loading um, maybe it should be like a play on words of that thing when um, it's like a fighting game slang for people who don't know about this but like if you match up against an opponent in a fighting game and at some point usually early on in the game but it can happen anytime i guess um if you get the download on your opponent like you say like oh man i got the download on this guy you're about to get wrecked dude like it means that figuratively speaking you have downloaded all of the data about that person's strategy and play style and everything about how they are playing the video game. You've downloaded this data. So now that you've collected the data, now that you have the download, it's implied that you'll take advantage of the data um, to win, to capitalize on how you can take advantage of that data. So g getting the download, yeah, we'll, we'll do getting the download. Let me type that here just so I remember that. But yeah, in case this isn't obvious for anybody watching, I'm going to stream Street Fighter 6 momentarily. Um, and I'm just, it's going to be a few minute break because like I don't like even taking the risk of showing my financial shit on the stream because I've already have, uh, never mind. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to not be streaming for a minute um because i'm gonna get one or two of the new costumes maybe three if i feel like being a um i i, I thought of like three or four different phrases to say there and they were all like really profanity-ish for some re reason um l l let me let me back let me back up here um I, I, these costumes are so expensive. I feel like I'm literally donating money to Capcom. So it's like, how, how much do I want to donate to Capcom? I mean, that's, that's kind of unfair for me to say that. Cause like the costumes are cool and they deem it worth a certain price. And like, who am I to argue? Cause I don't even know how many man hours it takes to make a costume in the game and how much play testing they do with it and shit like that. You would think they don't do any play testing now I'm talking about Street Fighter V standards, but like some of the critical arts and how they interacted with certain costumes was like... I mean, it was, it was always pretty funny. Like it wasn't like bad, bad. Like it's not, it's not like part of the costume was covering the screen so you couldn't see the entire thing, but there would be a good like half second to full second where the screen would be obscured by somebody's freaking tail or like their big ass shoulder pad of their armor or the gill pyron suit is a little unforgivable that they it, it was overly ambitious unforgivable they they did a very cool character pretty dirty 
but they'll get a chance to redeem themselves whenever uh, the next Darkstalkers game comes out, because, like, there has to be another one. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just a me thing, but I, I personally feel like there kind of has to be another one. Like, not, I'm not saying that in a way, like, I am a fan who wants it. There has to be another one. It's just, it's just like... It, it, it's as simple as this like pe for people who know nothing about dark stalkers first of all it's a fighting game trilogy but like just you don't have to know anything about dark stalkers except the name dark stalkers let's like, let's ignore the stalker part for now it's kind of weird but like the dark it's like how much like dark media darker music anti-heroes horror movies how much those have gotten popular in the last 10 or 20 years it's like dude in the last in the last two or three years, like it's like, dude, we need another Darkstalkers game. That that's my um that's my reasoning. That that's sort of my petition, if you will, for another Darkstalkers game to be made. But yeah, let me get out of here. We watched a loading bar. At some point I'll download a big ass game and watch a loading bar for like one or two hours and it'll be really funny. I think it'll be really funny, but like I have a really like stupid like um, watching paint dry is like beautiful and hilarious and um, symbolic. Like I'm that's that's kind of the way my mind works. So maybe some people out there can feel me, or if you don't feel me, then this it might be something like that's so weird. That's so different from myself. How interesting. And then you might be also like a lot of people is kind of generic like. Oh wow, that's so different from myself. That's so, oh, that's so, that's so uncomfortable and unnatural and and threatening. What if that guy who's so different than me is different because he's doing everything right and his life is so good, and I'm just a normie who's doing everything wrong and my life sucks. Like, I don't know. It's it's just like, dude, just like live how you want to live. And um, I don't know that 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 kind of those kind of deep feelings like I don't personally have it but I just am so familiar with it that I know like that comes from a place of like regretting your past life choices um yeah <laughs> I feel like I'm not staring straight at all you people out there who, are, who fall in that category but I shouldn't like do stuff like that where I call out people just for uh, struggling with normal human things if, I, if anybody feels called out by anything I just said you're just a normal human being so don't, uh, don't even trip about it. Alright, but anyway, yeah, drop in a stream, I'll play Street Fighter 6 in a minute. Look forward to that, and more episodes of Getting the Download with Stormative.